The next word is percuma. What does it mean? Stop you. Mastilah sedap. Percuma. Oui. Percuma in Indonesia means useless. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god Because like you know Upin Ipin every morning before the class starts They will say Selamat pagi cikgu Selamat pagi cikgu Selamat pagi cikgu Yeah like you know something like <laughs> Selamat pagi cikgu <laughs> Why? Just say selamat pagi why? Why? <laughs> Hi everyone! Today I've got my friend here. His name is Kwan Chihin and I call him Chihin. Chihin, say hi to my friends. Hello. Hi. Chihin is my classmate uh, when I studied at Northumbria University in Newcastle, Yukontine, the UK. And he's from Malaysia. And as Malaysia is next to Indonesia, we've got lots of similarities in terms of culture and languages. And most of the words in Bahasa Indonesia and Bahasa Malaysia are similar, but they have different meaning. And that's going to be the topic on our conversation today on this video. So, do you understand Indonesian Bahasa. words? What? I don't, honestly. I mean, <laughs> I, I know some words. If you say it one by one, but okay. if you say it in one sentence, you're like, what are you saying? Oh. Like, like when you were speaking to your friends, I remember when you were in Newcastle, your friends visited you. Uh -huh. And when you guys were speaking, I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't understand a word, honestly. So guys, yeah. on this video, I'm gonna mention some words and I will say the meaning in Bahasa Indonesia and Chihin will tell us the meaning in Malaysia, okay? Chihin, the first word is kereta. What does it mean in Malaysia? It's car. It's train. Car. It's train. <laughs> it's not car. What do you call car in Indonesia? In Indonesia, we call it mobil. Do you know what we call train? Train. What's, what's it? What's train? Kereta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the next word is percuma. Percuma, percuma. What does it mean? Free. Percuma in Indonesia means useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Next, Buddha. I often heard these words on Ipin Upin. Buddha, Buddha, ni. <laughs> Buddha, Buddha, ni. Buddha is my favorite. Malay words. Really? <laughs> because I always use that to school students. Oh. Buddha ni. <laughs> Buddha ni. Yeah, I'll, call, I'll call them like this. Like Upin Ipin sister always always be angry to the twins and she always say Buddha Buddha ni something like that. Uh, uh, yeah. You know but in my country it means slave. So don't don't call any <laughs> But the word, okay, Buddha for us means um, children, kids. So what do you call kids in anak. Indonesia? Anak, anak. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 us as well. We call anak as well. But we have a few ways of saying it. Anak is one, Buddha is one, kanak, kanak is another one. So we have so many traditional languages. Buddha means kid, but in traditional language. But in national language, like Bahasa Indonesia, Buddha means slave. So it's something negative. <laughs> Very negative. Oh my god. Yeah. I get hit in the face if I call someone Buddha in <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> like, <"Buddha." laughs> Punch you in the face. The next word is Tuduk. What's Tuduk in your language? Sit down. Same. Sit down. In yeah. my country, it means sit down as well. But Dudo in Malaysia, it can also mean like. Uh, the, the place you live at. So, saya, saya duduk di Kuala Lumpur. I yeah. live in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, because, right, uh, okay, in that case, right, if you say, you want to say, I live in Kuala Lumpur, we would usually use the word tinggal. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, in Indonesia, we cannot use it. 
Like we can't. I know. In tinggal, I think it means passing away, right? Tinggal means pass away. It could be pass away, but we say it meninggal for pass yeah, meninggal. away. Yeah, meninggal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but do not sometimes, right? Like for example, if you go to the police station, right, and you're going to make a report, they'll ask you, uh, "Mana kamu duduk?" Sometimes, <laughs> and the first time when I heard that, right, I was like, "What are you asking?" <laughs> I was there. Why? Why? Why are you asking? <laughs> Then I was like, oh, okay. Because, right? Uh, If you want to say that I'm a resident or I I uh, I one of the person that lives here, we would use the word penduduk. Mm, I see. So it's taken from penduduk, penduduk, right? Sorry. So it means it was taken from penduduk. Yeah. Actually. Okay, I see. You know what? If I come to Malaysia and the police in Malaysia ask me, di mana kamu duduk? I will say what. I aku duduk di kursi. <laughs> But in Indonesia we can't use duduk as live. We will never use duduk as living. Kecemasan. What's in your language? Emergency. Emergency. In Indonesia it means anxiety. So if you find emergency exit, will you say kecemasan, pintu kecemasan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so if and I feel and anxious, I will say saya cemas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The next word, pusing. In my language, it means something negative. It means dizzy. What 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 was it in Malaysia? Uh, it's turn. Turn. So if you're feeling headache, do you go to the doctor and say? Yes. If I go to the doctor and I feel dizzy, uh, I will say, oh, saya pusing. The next word is. Kakak, what's kakak in Malaysia? Forest is older sister. Is it only for sister? Only for sister. Okay, so it's a little bit similar with Indonesia. In Indonesia, it means older sister, but it could be broad, older brother as well. Like both gender. How do you say older brother in your language? Abang. Abang? Yeah. In my country, I can say abang as well. For older brother. But what do you use kakak? Older brother. But you just use abang. <laughs> by the way. It's so cool. But, but you know what? There's, there's one very interesting fact. You know when we write letter? Yes. There are some kind of ways where we, uh, where we address our, like our elder, like our elder sister or brother or even our parents in the letter. Mm-hmm. So, if we, we're writing to our sister, older sister, We called it kakanda in the uh, letter, but for brother, older brother, we do call kakanda. As well, but it's only in the letter. Oh, only in letter. Yeah. What about in daily conversation? Yeah, of course you call abang. This kakanda is just like a, a more respected way of addressing someone in the letter when you're writing a letter. Hmm, I see, I see, I see, I see. When you use yeah. that in When you use that in Indonesia? Kakanda, actually, it's really... It used only in Pum. Like very... Like Pum, like Putri, something like that. We don't say Kakanda in daily conversation. The next one is Berbual. You know what? In my country, it's really negative thing. It means well, lying. Yeah. What about in Malaysia? Chit chat. <laughs> Talking. Yeah. So yes. are we are we berbual right now? Yeah. Yeah, But yeah. Lying in Malaysia, it's called tipu. What? Tipu. T i p u. Tipu. Oh, tipu. Yeah. Okay. Tipu means. Uh, tipu means cheating, in Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. Somewhat similar. Somewhat. Similar. But it's not yeah. like in terms of speaking. It's about actions. The next word is senang. Senang in my language means happy. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Okay. When it, okay, when if you just come out from an exam, right? Uh-huh. And people ask you if it's hard or not, you can yeah. if it, you think it's easy, you can just say senang saja. Senang. Okay. Oh, really senang is happy, right? Easy in Indonesia is mudah. How do you spell your mudah? M U D A H. 
And what about muda without H? Without the H. Oh, muda I mean, means young. Okay, yeah, same, same. Is it same with you? Yeah, yeah, same, same, same. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, we've got some the uh, similar words with similar meaning as well. I mean, there are a lot, a lot yeah. of like similar words, but there are just some funny ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the next word is boleh. Boleh means can. Can. Actually, in Indonesia, it means can as well, but it's more about giving permission. Like, like you know, boleh saya duduk? Boleh saya makan? It's like asking permission to people, like, can we do that? Something like that. How do you say can? I mean, can in, in Bahasa? Yeah, in your Bahasa. Dapat. Okay, yeah, we use that as well. But I heard that you use bisa, right? Oh, bisa, yeah, yeah. We use bisa as well. Bisa, dapat. So it's same. Because I heard you use that word with your friend. You keep on asking like, bisa ke ta? I, I don't know, is, is, it, is it like this? But you ask something like, bisa ke? Something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's correct. The next one is... Lagi. Lagi, what's that in your language? Like again. It's same. It's again as well in my language, but it has another meaning. We can say what? it's about doing something. For instance, I say, uh, saya lagi makan means I'm eating. <laughs> so, <laughs> can you relate? Yeah. The next word is police. What's police. that? In police. police. Yeah. If we say police in Indonesia, people will think about insurance. <laughs> like if I'm in hospital, like I say, uh, check the police, check the insurance. Oh. Okay. Which is like policy in English. Yes. yes. So, so what do you call police in Indonesia? Policy. A police as well. But policy. when you say you should you should say policy. Don't only police. police. Uh, oh okay, 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 okay. Like oh, okay, okay, okay. I got what you mean. Yeah. Okay. If you want to say police, police like you should say policy it means police but if you say police it means insurance hey it's another way around you know in malaysia policy means insurance police means police okay yeah. so it's the opposite yeah 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 hey that's interesting okay i didn't know <laughs> okay so when i'm in indonesia when i need to look for a police i need to ask where is the policy? Instead yeah. of where is... Yeah, yeah. If you want to okay. go to the police station, don't forget to mention the I at the end of the words. Policy. What do you call police station in Indonesia? Kantor policy. Say that again? Kantor policy. Ah. Have you heard okay. kantor? No. Oh, kantor. Counter. Kan uh, okay, okay. We do have the word count, counter here, but uh, for police station, we call it balai police. Okay. Balai. Balai, balai in my language. Like balai like in Indonesia, it's like, you know, it's hole. It's a hole. <laughs> like, you know, there is a building and has like a big room. We call it balai. It's kind of the whole. Oh. Like that. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. okay Lots okay. of misunderstanding if you come to Indonesia and you don't know Indonesian words. <laughs> how do okay. you call how do you call whole? Day one. Does Day it refer one. to room, a big room in a building? Yeah, it's like a huge common room. That's what we call uh day one. Oh really? Yeah, day one. So, like for example, in the school when we have um, assembly, that place that we use, we call day one. If you have a hall for assembly, we call that hall day one. The next word is bandar. What's city. bandar in your country? City. What? City. city. Yeah. 
In Indonesia, it means dealer. Bandar narkoba. Narkoba means drugs, so it means drugs dealer. Oh <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We never use Bandar for city. So Bandar Kuala Lumpur or Kuala Lumpur Bandar. Bandar Kuala Lumpur. Okay, the next word is wayang. If I'm not wrong, I think it's movie. Yeah, it's movie. Oh, In Indonesia, it it's specifically for um, shadow show. It's like traditional puppet. It's uh-huh, like uh-huh. traditional puppet in Indonesia, and like the show is just only the shadow. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's called wayang. Actually, both in Indonesia and Malaysia is all about show, right? But just different. For us, it's more like movie. Movie. So we said nonton wayang. All right. Uh huh. Movie in Indonesia, we just call it film. I want to. So if I that. say wayang in Indonesia, they'll bring me to the puppet show. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> the next word is pejabat. Office. Okay. In Indonesia, it means a person who has a significant role, just like president, minister. They are pejabat. Right, but pejabat is mainly for the office. So if you just want to call someone with a title, we'll just uh, mention their title. The title. Like, yeah, Dato, yeah, Tan Sri, their uh, what else? Uh, and you Berhormat, this kind of thing. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that we just address them straight away as who they are instead of pejabat. Next, pengajian. Pengajian. Pengajian is like um, study. Studying. Yeah, it's like you're studying something. In Indonesia, it's specifically about studying holy book, like reading the holy book of Islam, the Quran. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You have a word specially for that. Yeah, it's more specific here about studying. Um, in general, we can say belajar. The yeah, same, same, same. But. Uh, pengajian, kaji, it's more like uh, it's more like researching, like really going into it and study. That's what we call pengajian. But if it's just a normal thing, we'll say belajar. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. it's just you know, kaji means like deeper, deeper. Yeah, it's like a deeper study. Yeah. The next word is pelan, pelan. It has two meanings actually in our. Uh, in Malaysia, one of it is plan, like plan things, like you're planning a trip, plan. And uh, the second meaning is actually like a map. Map. Yeah. Peta. Yeah. Uh, not to say pet, not to say peta. Like okay, for example, I'm not sure. I think I think you had this during your school time. So uh, you just wanna there's like a picture, a diagram. Of showing who is sitting at which table. The giant. Do you know? Do you get what I mean? Like, and there will be like row and what do you call that? Row and what, what do you call this? This is called row, and this is called what do you call this? <laughs> A column. Yeah, row and column, something like that. Like for example, like okay, it has like um. Okay, Poland is basically like a little map for you to see at uh. I mean, it's like a little little map of a place, of a room. Oh, dena. You get what I mean? Like it's gonna show you where. I understand, like, but I think in Indonesia it's called dena. It's just like showing which part of the rooms, right? Rooms in a bu- in a building. Uh yeah, you can say that. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Or okay, or yeah. more spe- more it. specifically, normally pelan is being used in a room, like uh. Like for example, you're in a hall, right? So for example, you're in a concert hall, okay? So when you buy a ticket for a concert, you actually do see a map of the concert hall, right? You do see where's the stage and like uh, this is the VIP. Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, that's what we call plan. Like you know where this is and where that is in the place. That, that's what I we get use. it. Oh, okay, I get it. But mm-hmm. in Indonesia, it means slow. Kashihin, it's really nice conversation today with you. <laughs> and guys, 
please don't forget to learn Malaysian words if you want to go to Malaysia. <laughs> don't fight here. What? <laughs> don't fight here. We really don't want to see fighting between Malaysian and Indonesia. Really, really, really. Yeah, Very yeah, fun. yeah. I mean, or just speak English. Yeah, just speak English if you don't uh, you don't have so many knowledge about Malaysian words. Because in the UK, I tried to speak to a Malaysian woman and you know, I tried to speak in Bahasa, she tried to speak in Malay and we got confused and okay, 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 just speak in English. Okay, <laughs> that yeah, happened yeah. once yeah. in the UK. Conclusion, in conclusion, learn English. Speak in English when you go travel. Don't speak in your own native language. It's gonna but, cause a lot of funny things. But it's interesting for me to learn new things, like learn and get to know Malaysian words meaning. I really like it, like to know the difference. Yeah, watch <sighs> Upin Ipin. Okay, yeah, before you watch Malaysia, Upin Ipin. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, a lot I of tips. So yeah. <laughs> before going to Malaysia, watch Upin Ipin. <laughs> That's a good all. advice. <laughs> and learn from Guru Basa. Is it Guru Basa? Check Guru Basa. <laughs> check Guru Basa. <laughs> Guru Basa, Basa, right? Yeah, I know from Pin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check Guru means Guru, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, check Guru. Because, like, you know, open Ipin every morning before the class starts, they will say, Selamat pagi, check Guru. Selamat pagi, check Guru. Selamat pagi, Cikgu! Yeah, like, you know, something like... <laughs> Selamat pagi, Cikgu! <laughs> why? Just say Selamat pagi, why? Why? Yeah, why oh, should we oh. be the dance? Yeah, yeah, that's the only only question I have. Okay, thank you so much, Ian, for okay, being okay. on my video. It's been three years. I haven't seen you, you know, since we graduated. <laughs> but thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I will... Maybe we can meet later on another video. Bye!